Welcome back to Cracking a Cold One Open with the boys. Here you go, you take that. That is yours right there. Now, in all of my time of being a professional mixologist, I've never done one thing. Something that you guys have asked me to do time and time again. And I've been a little curious myself as to how this mixture will actually go. We have mixed G Fuel powder flavors on the channel. We have mixed G Fuel can flavors on this channel. But one thing we have never done is mixed G Fuel powder flavors with G Fuel can flavors. Today, we're gonna do it. So many of you guys have wanted to see this video for the longest time. I don't know why, but this is another one of those requests that you guys keep spamming at me. Now, as I get going, I just want to say thank you right off the get-go for all the love on the channel recently. I'm doing a bunch of new stuff along with content like this that you guys are probably used to. So let me know what you think about all the content that's coming out in the future. And if you are new around here, you enjoy some of the content you see, consider subscribing as we're really close to 50,000 subscribers. No, 50,000 homies. We're really close to the milestone. I would love to have you a part of the family. Subscribe today. Use code DUCK for any of these items you see in the video. Save some Money on your G Fuel, and let's go ahead and start doing our mixture. So, we're gonna be mixing three flavors together today. Number one being the Sour Blue Chug Rug, number two going to the Bahama Mama, and last but not least, we're gonna take a look at Phase Jeb's Raging Gummy Fish. Obviously, mixing those in with their powder counterpart, seeing what the best mixtures are. Maybe this is something you guys should be doing at home if you have an extra can laying around with the same flavor of tub, but today I'm gonna do it on camera for you. You're welcome. The strategy I'm kind of taking with this is like half G Fuel can, half G Fuel powder. I'm obviously not gonna pour a can into the cup, then pour the powder in there, shake it up because it would go So I think I'm gonna mix the powder with a little bit of water to start, shake that up, and then add the G Fuel can on top of it. Mix that around very gently so we don't have a Test it out, rate a one out of 10, let you guys know what I think. So yeah, that's pretty much the idea. We're gonna start out with the Raging Gummy Fish here today. Not my number one choice for a can personally. I think it was a little bit lower on the scale when I did my ranking every G Fuel can video. Link in the description down below to watch that. However, I do know that I like them better within the cans than I do the powder formula. We're gonna fill half the cup up with water and obviously we're not gonna use a full scoop of G Fuel. That'd be way too concentrated. Glug, 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 glug. About half the cup should do it. And I'd say that's a good amount of powder right there. So about half a full scoop going into about half a cup of water. Put it in there, close the top. And after that, all you do is shoot. I'm gonna sweat a lot before this video is over. We got our Raging Gummy Fish into can number one. Let's crack open the can. Everybody, please be quiet. We need some really good cracks today. That was pretty good. Maybe because I got in my eye a little bit. Very strong flavor as I'm drinking this here at eight o'clock at night. I guess I'm not sleeping ever. Okay. Pour half of this in there as well. All right. That looks good. Very vibrantly reddish pink. We're gonna gently stir it around a little bit. I don't want too, too much of an aggressive light explosion out the cap. I can feel the pressure building. Let's see how, how this sounds when I do a pop. Oh my God. Cheers, everybody. Let's go ahead and give this a go. See how it is. Oh, wow. Whenever I consume Raging Gummy Fish, my biggest complaints is it feels a little too light, a little too sweet for me. But mixing those two together actually makes it feel like a bit more of an aggressive flavor. And I mean that in a really good way. Within the cans, I feel like the flavor isn't quite as strong as it is within the tub. So when you mix those together, it's like you get this really nicely carbonated, strong flavor of Raging Gummy Fish. Still a really sweet flavor overall. I can see why a lot of people have this as a fan favorite. It seems like a lot of G4 consumers love sweet flavors. And like, man, when I tell you this is sweet, this is sweet. The combination adds a good element to it. Definitely improves upon the can. If every one of these cans tasted like this mixture, I would like this a whole heck of a lot more. So overall, I really like this. It's got like a nice cherry taste to it. Out of 10, we are giving you a 7.9. It needs a little sour to go higher, but 7.9 is pretty solid. I love how I like harness the energy of my rating in my hand and <laughs> like had it on the cup. 7.9. All right, next up, let's do our Bahama Mama. Again, same formula, half the cup of water, half a scoop of Bahama Mama mixed in with the carbonated can. That should be enough right about there. Okay, so let that settle to the bottom, mix it up a little bit. So it's a cap up, seal it, and one more time, everybody deep breath. Shit! And done, okay. We're gonna crack open our Bahama Mama can here. I can get my finger under the lid, okay. There we go, that was pretty solid. Not too amazing of a crack. From there, we're gonna add half a cup of Bahama Mama. Man, I can smell that like orange flavor come out. It's a very strong tangerine smell. You hear that? Sounds like carbonation, doesn't it? We're gonna lightly shake so we don't disturb any forces. Just like this, just keep eye contact with me the whole time. Yeah, that's good. It smells pretty good. Again, extremely orangey. Is that a word? Once again, cheers. Let's taste this one out as well. Then we'll move on to our Southie Chug Rug, see where this ranks. 
Oh wow, man, that's a lot. That's a lot happening. Some good things happening, some not good things happening for me. See, I don't know if this is your first video watching me with these flavors. I've never really been a big fan of tropical things, anything that has something to do with uh, coconuts, but I love citrusy fruits, I love oranges, and both of those things that I love and do hate are brought out tenfold. So it's like a really juicy orange that just got smothered in some like coconut oil. Very overpowering of a flavor for sure. I love the orange flavoring, but I feel like some of the after effect that's left there is that Bahama Mama's like coconuts. I don't love coconut as much. Seems like this is one of the biggest fan favorite flavors out there. I can see why a lot of people are probably into this more tropical feel. For me, I'm not the craziest about it, but I'm telling you, if you like either the powder or the cans of the Bahama Mama, mixing them together just explodes the flavor. This might be like a 10 out of 10 for some of you Bahama Mama lovers out there. It's a little too potent for me, a little too much coconut. So for me, I'm gonna give it a solid 6.7 out of 10. Not terrible, but again, that's a lot of coconut, bro. <laughs> Finally, the one that I've been waiting to do the whole entire video, my number one G Fuel can alongside one of my top three G Fuel tubs, Sour Blue Chug Rug. Fun fact about me, I'm sure a lot of you guys know this, but this was actually my first flavor I ever reviewed from G Fuel. I did this in December of 2018, I think. It's crazy to think about how much time has really passed since then. December of 2018, we're almost in December of 2020. All right, about half a scoop of Blue Chug Rug going in with half a cup of water. That in there, and one more time, everybody. One good, strong last one. I dropped the cap. Okay, put the cap on really tight. I might have broke it. Nope, we're good. Please take your cups with me and and done. I'm physically sweating. Do you see this like hat mark and sweat on my forehead? All right, we had that mixed up pretty well. Let's open our chug rug can. Let's get all right. Let's mix it in with our powder formula as well. Pour some G fuel on me. Shake it around just like this. I feel that pressure already building, but I need a good shake on it. Maybe we're good like that. Oh wow, that just flung back. <laughs> you guys wanna smell it real quick? Does it smell good? Rumor has it, if you get close enough to your screen, you can actually smell this. Yeah, and a little bit closer. Yeah, put your face on the monitor. Put your nose on it. If you did that and you can't smell it, there must be something wrong with your, uh, your CPU. I don't know, get a new one. Let's go ahead and try this out. Blue chuck rug going down. Ooh, interesting. Way more sour. A lot more of a compelling flavor for sure. That's like really strong. Across the board, we can see that all these flavors kind of get an enhancement and how strong the flavor is when you mix them together. That brings the sourness level up like by at least five. Extremely sour. I feel like I'm creating like these awesome experiences like this. Man, this is really good. If you have the powder and the can, I definitely recommend mixing them together just to try this out. This one right here is definitely by far my favorite. I'm gonna give this a solid like 9.7 out of 10. Like just tasting the two between the Raiden Gummy Fish and the Sadly, chug rug. Yeah, like this one doesn't have anywhere near the amount of strength this one does. Like I thought this was pretty strong when I tried it first, but going over to this for the last flavor, oh my God. That is so much different. Aurora of really good flavor. Across the board, they're all pretty good. My least favorite being the Bahama Mama, then the Raging Gummy Fish, and finally my favorite being the Blue Chug Rug. Interested to see what other mixtures you guys do, maybe with like the Blue Ice or Phase Berry. I only had these three cans on hand today, so this is what I did. If there's more flavors you guys want to see me do a mixture of, make sure you put it in the comment section down below. Try this out. Let me know what you guys think about it as well. But yeah, had a good time. Enjoyed myself. This was pretty fun. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And if you did and you don't mind doing so, go ahead and drop a sub like comment. That's a subscribe, a like, and a comment. And I will see you in the next video.